Welcome to Easy Eats. My name is Chef Eve Deshane, and we're here in the Greener Village's Learning Kitchen with uh, Ali Habibi and uh, Esan Kaviani. Did I get those names right, gentlemen? Yes, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Um, so we're here today to uh, to make a dish. So what dish are we making with uh, you today? Oh, that's uh, uh, called the traditional uh, Iranian, uh, actually called Persian saffron dish, known as tachin. Tachi, okay. Yeah. And is Tachi uh, a celebrate? You, you said a celebratory dish. Yes, it is actually. We serve that uh, in the wedding uh, and in the when we have uh, like a very good, nice guest at home, and we want to like you know, take care of them very well. So we use. Uh, the, I mean, this is like one of the dishes we make for them. It's quite a delicacy and very famous, original, hundred percent Iranians. And yeah, I mean, is a good dish. Some restaurant. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is a famous. Yeah. Oh, well, fantastic. So uh, you guys are from the uh, the New Brunswick Iranian Association uh, right. here in Fredericton. And uh, next and, and, and this week is uh, is New Year's for you guys. Yeah, yes, uh, Iranian uh, the first day of spring is the uh, first day of New Year for Irania. We have a celebration uh, and uh, about March 20 or some years March 21. Here uh, we try uh, uh, give a celebration for our Iranian people living in New Brunswick and each year we have celebration in Hotel Delta and gather together and have a celebration for our New Year. It's not just a one-day event how long does the the New Year celebration go on? Uh, we have a 13 days holiday okay and usually we go to the family home family and visit together and for example the mother, father, grandmother, grandfather, and uh, spend time with family. You spend time with family. Um, celebration, how does it, is it different here that now that you're in Canada than you would back home? Like what are the, what are the main differences would you, would you say? Well, normally, I mean, it definitely is because yeah. uh, that's uh, like a, having like a, a Christmas uh, and you are like far away from your own family. Yeah. So what's happening in just like on the exact time of the new year, we all like sit together. We sit there, we pray, we talk, we dance before that, we you know, enjoy each other's company. And the moments that uh, normally is going with the weird big bang of the sounds, the cannon sound, the traditional okay, is yeah, yeah. like that. And we start like, like hugging and kissing each other. And after that, I mean that day, uh, which we spend with the most immediate family normally, we start like going to uh, like, uh, other families' house. We used to be the eldest. Okay. So go and see the grandpa, grandma, aunts, uncles, and it's very funny and very interesting because, like, you see, like, group of all like uh, uh, relatives, like, no more cousins, niece, everybody. You all go to the uh, grandpa house. It's gonna be very crowded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have yeah. lots of fun, noises. Then the, from the same time. Like maybe like two hours or three hours later, we, the same crowd will go to the aunt's house. Oh, and the, oh, can and you just visit the, yeah, the next one? So oh, the, that's the bigger fun. family you have, sometimes the thirteen days of holiday is not enough. So you're gonna extend to the months of visiting. Yeah. Uh, oh, other things interesting for kids. Uh, usually, grandpa and grandma uh, make a cookie. Okay. Yeah. Uh, kids interested for this cookie. And they like it. Well, that's fun. And you said that this is happening at the Delta. Is this open for just the uh, ju just the people part of the association, or are people uh, invited? Is the general public invited to this event, or is it more? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, actually it's open to general event. We have lots of Canadians, and this year I think the uh, MP and also she's gonna uh, come over as well. And um, sometimes the mayor also. Uh, comes over to join us the celebrations. So I guess my next question is is uh, when when did both of you come to Canada? We kind of like met each other through the uh, Iranian uh, Canadian organizations uh, in, in New Brunswick. I can be uh, Iran is the president. I'm uh, one of the executive member of that. Okay, yeah. Uh, we just got this, this responsibility this year, and every year like there are different group of very nice, very uh, talented people. They used to run this uh, organization, and now it's, we inherit it, and we try to follow the, their footsteps. Basically, what you guys do is you 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 uh, help people navigate, I guess, the people that are just landing here, and showing them yeah. where they can go for food. Example, if they're if they're looking for help yeah. to us at the Greener Village, or where to uh, where where to find apartments and things like that. Is that what you guys do yes, for the, uh, we can help the new uh, newcomer? 
for settlement here yep. or find a place for living or anything else they needed and uh, I can we can uh, help for them to find a job or find a place we can help them and guide uh, the newcomer we have a very nice uh, community here and our main goal is to bring all Iranians here together make them all feel like at home uh, especially like being like very far away from our family from loved ones there are lots of students here at the UMB that are living here alone so we try to organize like uh, events and do the cultural things and they are like uh, kids that uh, they're born here and they grow up and we try to have this like opportunity to help them uh, remember and learn about their uh, culture Iranian cultures as well as the Canadians that they are learning in the school. Before the show we were talking and you guys say that cooking is a hobby so this isn't something you guys do professional. Uh, are there any other kind of hobbies that you guys do that are interesting or that uh, you'd like to share? Uh, yeah I mean like uh, I at any occasion I guess that I do the, like different sort of activities. Yeah. But some of the main one that I do for quite some time is like a scuba diving. I'm a certified air rescue, uh, rescue diver. Oh cool. Any rescue diver. Right and on. I've been like doing this for like well over like 10, 10, 15 years. I mean, diving all over the world and any chance I get, I just go underwater. Being the president of, of, of the association probably takes up a lot of your time, but what else, what other kinds of hobbies do you have? I play basketball. Oh, cool. Mm, I try to find my hobby again here. For example, every morning I uh, went to uh, walking around the Clary Lake. Okay, yeah. In winter, summer, not different for me, it's snow, rain every day. Yeah. And uh, I, I start my co basketball coaching here too as okay, uh, cool. multiculture. And uh, now I am basketball coach for kids uh, because I played basketball and uh, I was basketball coach in my home country. I try to find my way here. So now that we've got to know a little bit about the association and about you guys, uh, so what we're going to do is after the, these few short messages, we'll get back to, to making the dish at hand. Thank you. Great. Welcome back to Easy Eats. Again, we're down here in the Greener Villages Learning Kitchen with Ali and Nissan from I Can Be, or the Iranian Canadian uh, New Brunswick Association. And we're going to uh, be making our dish. So, yeah. what are our first steps, gentlemen? Well, uh, this dish is called tahjin. Okay, yeah. And uh, we talk about the tahjin, the traditions. The main ingredient of the tahjin is saffron. Okay. So, uh, it's, very, it's a very delicate one. I have some there. And there are like, like some techniques to actually bloom saffron because it's a very expensive... Uh, well, that's it. It looks like you've got spice, it in a little yeah. beautiful bottle, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we get this a lot. I mean, sometimes we give this as a gift to each other. Okay, yeah. and, and saffron is native to, to Iran and Afghanistan in that area, am I yes, not mistaken? Yes, that's correct, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Um, and it is expensive, right? So, it, and it's the stamen of an orchid flower. It's uh, We're not going to use all this because as I say they're expensive, so we have the different techniques to extract the color and the flavor out of this. So well, let's talk about saffron a little yeah. bit. So is saffron used just for the color? For the color, for the taste, and they had some uh, like in ancient medical, traditional mm -hmm. medical thing okay, they yeah. use. And yeah, it's very nice. And we, we use for the garnishing of our meal, especially with the rice and some other dishes. And um, yeah. So use some dessert. And for dessert and as well, dessert, yes. Yeah, we have some rice, uh, uh, something is like uh, rice pudding, but we have uh, like saffron in there. Okay, yeah. We put saffron in many things. In a lot of things. Well, I mean, <laughs> if it grows there, then you use what's grown there, right? Yeah, exactly. Just like yeah. us Canadians put maple syrup in everything. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, okay. Correct. Some yeah. cookie, for example. Use some cookie. Oh, fun. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, in order to make saffron, so we have to kind of like, like grind and turn it into the powder. Okay. So, for this, I just like use like... Uh, Maybe just a little, just, just a little a touch, eh? Uh, oh, I'm gonna be generous. I'm gonna be careful with not spilling it around. Oh no! Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you're using so, what? About a half a teaspoon or so? Yeah, it is half a teaspoon, just a pinch. That's more than enough. And uh, so what we're gonna do? Just like, gonna grind it a bit. We're gonna turn it to the powder. So okay, then you're gonna turn it into a into a powder. So if, we, if you don't have a mortar and pestle, you can just put it into a cup and kind of crush it with the back of your spoon. Mm -hmm. And you have to keep it dry. 
sometimes yeah. uh, has a vet, you have to dry after that. Okay. In order to get the pigment and the flavor, yeah, it, yeah. it should be dry. Yeah. So, we're going to do this first because we need uh, to kind of like bloom it and just let it stand. So, the more it stays, is more color it will extract. Okay, so, so is too, I leaving it too long a bad thing? No, no, I mean, you can uh, just put it in the fridge for like uh, 24 hours, 48 hours. Okay. Uh, just like, use it like for other kitchen, you have like too much. So... There we so go. And then, then we're going like to put a little bit of... We have. Awesome. And we're going to put a little hot water in that to bloom yes, it, Yes, right? yes. And how and much hot water are we putting in there? Just, just put a half a cup. All right. Uh, go a bit more. That's enough. Perfect. A beautiful color out of that, eh? Yeah. So I'm just like, going to stir it a bit and just let it stand here for a while. And you see they're going to turn to very nice and you, sh you don't get the color on your shirts. No, <laughs> no, it does, it does easily. stain, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it doesn't stain. It won't come off that easily. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're going to start with uh, a chicken. OK, we have to just make some chicken to put it in there. So while uh, it's just like uh, yeah. doing the, the first, onion. you have to chop the onion. OK, and some fry. We're chopping the onions, we're turning that onto about a medium high heat. The dish that we can make with different things. It's not just a chicken. It's not just chicken, okay, we yeah. Can, you can put some veggie because it's going to be like you're going to have the, uh, the layers inside. Oh, okay, so it's a layered so, dish, okay. Yeah, it is. And uh, we can have the chicken in there, you can have uh, like a, a beef or some wedges, uh, eggplant. Oh, that's, I love that. Perfect. The mixture of the chicken and eggplant, the layers you can put in, in the between. It goes with everything. I, I'm looking at that in the Barberries. Uh, they're, they're very similar to, they look like a red currant, like a dried red currant that yeah, you have is. here. So um, is the flavor similar? Uh, yeah, it is. It's a bit uh, sourish. Okay, uh, yeah, But yeah. we're going to uh, 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 just like, a, not to fry it, just stir it a bit uh, with a high heat and sugar. So we get that uh, uh, sweet and soury Okay, it's sweet it tang, is. Yeah. yeah. So if you wanted to substitute, you could substitute it with currants or cranberries yeah. or raisins exactly. that kind of deal. not the raisin but cranberries yeah not uh, not the raisin yeah too sweet too the raisin sweet, uh, okay yeah, okay perfect so we got the onions going and we are we cooking those down to get a little bit of color or are we yeah. just sweating them to just kind of extract the uh, the aromas yes yeah, so just a little bit uh, just change uh, color make it like okay. a bit light on the onions perfect so those color those have a little bit of color on them now right yeah, yeah. so now we're just we're adding chicken we add the chicken okay just just we let it just uh, stir a bit on both sides until it gets like a... So we're basically just kind of poaching the chicken, right? Yeah, okay. just a little bit. Uh. So we just put the chicken breast in whole just like that? We don't have to slice it up? Oh, we, we do after that. Oh, you do after? Once, once it got cooked. I mean, okay. we just like got a uh, seared both sides. Sides, yeah. yeah. Just a little bit. We're going to season it in the pan right there so we're not seasoning the rice we're seasoning the chicken we'll do it later oh we'll do it okay we, so I mean, we do it that we, we want some the chicken have the flavor itself as well yeah okay so every bite, bite counts so okay. yeah you you're right every, <laughs> every bite counts and that's it is it, it, it's about layering flavors right yeah. so what are what are we adding to the chicken what kind of spices are we adding to this dish uh, uh, this is uh, like a uh, maybe like one teaspoon of uh, uh, turmeric uh, paprika uh, black pepper and the salt. And all, salt. All one teaspoon. That should be fine. One teaspoon of each. Absolutely. Yeah. And the turmeric's going to also give you that nice golden color that we're looking yeah. for too. And also help with the smell of the chicken as well. Okay. Yeah. So, so we try to like neutralize lots of like a bad odor of like uh, different ingredients. So I think it's fine. So we're just going to add some water and let it stew for a while. Perfect. So how much so water are we going to add to that, my friend? Just a one, one or two cups. That will be one nice. or two cups. Yeah. You just say when. Enough. Good. Yeah, just, just put it on the low heat and put the lid on and let it cook. Perfect. So we're just going to pop a lid on that just like that. So what, what would be our next step here? We've got the chicken poaching. So what, what do we attack next? Uh, we can multitask. We can put the rice to be cooked. Uh, with the rice, one thing we need, should know that we're not going to cook the rice uh, all the way in the pots. Okay. It's going to be halfway. Gotcha. So as when you just like pick some uh, grain mm -hmm. and you touch it, you see like it's a soft out on outside, but a bit hard inside. Yep, yep. So we, you want it halfway cooked. So we have the hot water here and we already done that with the rice. That's and, the, like and yeah, we've two, already pre-rinsed yeah, that, right? And that's like two cup of uh, rice. Yeah. Uh, ish. And that's, that's the size of my cup. 
I measure everything with the same cup. With the same know, cup? Yeah. Well, that, that's a good yeah, idea, that's absolutely. A good, that's a good way to keep track of that. So when we're cooking this rice to a ratio, it's, uh, it's, it's a two to one, isn't it? So two cups of rice to four cups of water? Ah, uh, yes, yeah. uh, correct. But uh, I have like a better technique, something visual that you can use. Oh, perfect. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. You know what? <laughs> Give me the visual, the visual cue. Yeah. I mean, like, normally what we have, uh, I mean, like, I believe most of the Iranian guys will yeah. tell you that they're going to laugh. We use the fingertip. <laughs> we, you know what? A Vietnamese yeah. friend, when I first started cooking, showed me the fingertip method as well. Yeah. So I wonder if it's the same. So when you put it on, when you put your finger in, you bring yeah. the water up to your up to, yeah, your uh, up to the first knuckle. Exactly. You, you flatten the rice in there, and you still like you. I mean, like now it's too, too it's hot. It's too hot. Yeah, I'm not your finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just like one finger tip in on top of that will be fine. Perfect. Now uh, we're gonna move on to the second part to make that uh, ingredients. Uh, I'll come together. Oh, that'll work. Okay. We'll be back after these uh, short messages to finish up the dish. Welcome back to Easy Eats. Again, we're in the Greener Villages Learning Kitchen with, uh, with Ali and Hassan from the uh, New Brunswick's Iranian Association. And uh, right before the break, we were talking about and I didn't know that uh, you grow rice in Iran. So let's talk a little bit about that, Isan. Yes, uh, we have uh, rice, we grow rice in Iran, in north of the Iran, because uh, same Canada, you have the Rocky Mountains, separate British Columbia the, yeah. uh, from another part of country, as uh, middle weather. Mid yeah. uh, in uh, Iran, we have uh, Alborz Mountain, separate north of Iran uh, from another part of country. So we have the rain, we have the lake, the biggest lake in the world is Caspian Lake uh, uh, in north of the Iran. And they have the um, high humidity weather. Okay, so yeah. it's uh, good for growing rice. We have a lot of type of rice, but the famous, uh, famous uh, type of rice in Iran is uh, tarom. We've got our chicken poaching. We've got our rice parboiling. What's the next step in this, uh, this wonderful dish? Yeah. Uh, okay, <coughs> uh, that's going to be make our uh, actually uh, the, the marination for the rice and everything together okay yeah so what we're gonna do is uh first of all uh i'm just gonna like break the eggs and uh we need to like two uh two egg yolk egg yolks one okay one whole egg oh okay perfect yeah, yeah. just to make that fun well and that's kind of what's going to hold everything together, isn't it? Yes. Like the binder to the dish. Exactly. If you want to neutralize some of the bad odor of the eggs, what we're going to do, we're going to put uh, like a egg, saffron, yogurt, and oil. So Jesus. that rice looks like it's pretty much yeah. where you want it to be, eh? So, yep. Uh, as you can see, okay, that's it. That's the one. So the next step to, we've got our eggs in there. So. Uh, we're gonna go with the saffron. The saffron, okay. So are we adding the whole amount of uh, of that? Yes. Yeah. Well, I guess waste not, want not. I mean, see, yeah, the saffron is expensive. Yeah, just gonna steal it. Get So you're just slowly incorporating it, right? Yeah. So you can see the color of the saffron. So well, it's it's kind of settled, is yeah. 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 No, I, I I love saffron. The color that it gives, that nice golden hue. Yeah. So this is going to add kind of a nice, uh, kind of a, a silky kind of decadent feel to your rice, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. I think we need more, more yogurt a bit. See, is the, the things about the tips about the yogurt is uh, it's good to be a bit thick. So Thicker yogurt, yeah. so uh, you don't really want. St I mean, you need a natural, plain yogurt. Yeah, well, absolutely, yeah. Perfect. So we're looking for a high-fat yogurt that's not Greek for this yeah. dish. Perfect. And we're gonna add the oil to it. While you're stirring, you can go generous on the oil. We need another pan for a little bit to fry the berries. We're gonna, oh, we're gonna fry yeah. the berries a little bit? Ah, perfect. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna put some uh, little bit of oil in that. Okay. Uh, yeah, and a little bit of butter. We're gonna use more butter for the flavor. So what kind of taste are we looking for? You, you want to just like a, a light touch of salt at the back of your uh, tongue. Okay, yeah. So not too much, not too salty, just, just a little bit, uh, just the right amount on your taste. So back to uh, our, our Barbary Zereshk. We need one a spoon of sugar as well. A, so little, a little bit of sugar? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, looking for that uh, sweet and savory 
sort of taste for that. Well, what's the next step? We're going to put everything together, are we? Now that's the part that everything comes together. Awesome, perfect. <laughs> and just like uh, slowly add in this uh, rice to this, our mixtures. And perfect. We want to cool that rice down a little bit before we exactly. add it to the egg because we don't want to cook that egg too quickly, right? True. It's almost like a, a savory rice pudding. Yeah, what exactly. What would you say? Yeah. Eh? yeah. <laughs> so. well, that chicken's smelling really good. So what we're doing now is you're just going yeah. to pull it apart, are you? So we're going to do some, some like pulled chicken here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For this, you can use uh, breast, uh, chicken breasts or you can use uh, chicken thighs. Uh, uh, yeah. Or uh, so like or whatever's on sale, I guess. Whatever's eh? on sale, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, so, um, what types of vegetables are typically eaten, I guess, in, in Iran? What, what do you grow? What would be consumed mostly? Uh, for this uh, uh, dish, we can use the fried eggplant. Fried eggplant, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, what we're gonna do, gonna like put it at the bottom of this. Okay. We're gonna use one layer on the bottom and uh, we're gonna put the chicken layer. Then we're gonna put another layer of this rice on top. Okay, so how thick of layers of rice do you want to start with? About uh, a quarter of an inch or maybe one centimeter. So okay, one yeah. or two centimeters. You don't want it too thick. If you're giving it too thick, then the cook time is gonna be very, or the middle part might not cook. Gotcha. Or be undercooked. So we're gonna put the one layer here. Uh, we're going to leave like a, a centimeter around the okay, edges. Okay, leave an edge, okay. Yeah. We don't want to like, like that. Because when we're going to flip it over, we don't want to just like go apart. Oh, so you got to create a structure. Okay, yeah, exactly. I gotcha. Thank then you. We're good, perfect. I'll move that and over. Here we go with the berries. We're just going to put some on top to just to make it look nice and nice surprise when you open it up. So yeah. and then we just kind of top it with rice. There we go. Yeah, and then I'm gonna press it a little, a little gently, uh, not too firmly. This is done. We're gonna put it in. Uh, we're just gonna slide it in the oven. Okay, that should be good. Perfect. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna put a we're gonna cover aluminum it. foil on that. So the bottom doesn't get too brown, right? Is that what we're looking? Yeah, we want the bo bottom and the sides to be like crisp and we don't like it go dry on the top. Oh, perfect. So it's yeah. just a, a loose wrap. We're not gonna. No, we really can tie it. Uh, no problem. Right. I'm gonna put some holes on top. Just to let some of that steam escape. Exactly. We don't want the, the, the steam water to come back. Well, that's time. it. Is you want it nice and crispy. So in an oven at 350 for roughly about an hour. It might be different with different ovens. The dish is ready now. So we're just gonna pull this out of the oven, and we're gonna get Ali to. Uh, to flip it, to in invert it, so sure. here you go, some gloves so you don't burn yourself, sir. That's the fun part. So this is kind of a, a fun dish. It's all about the presentation as well. Yeah. Now we're just going to garnish that with a little bit of the uh, the, the barbari. Yes. Presentation is everything. No, no, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. It's gorgeous. Let me just go. And there you go. You, you got it right there. We'll flip it up like that. Mmm. It's beautiful. Thank you so much, guys, for sharing a little bit of your story, Welcome. sharing this wonderful dish with us today. And uh, yes. so happy New Year's to you both. Yeah. And, uh, and again, if, if anyone is looking to celebrate with them, uh, you guys are hosting something at the Delta yeah. uh, on Saturday, and Sunday? 24th uh, March. Thanks a lot, yeah. guys, for today. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Yeah. Right on. Thanks for having us here.